Hello YouTube, thank you for joining our channel, Iowa Custom Crafters. Today I'm going to be showing you how we made this Santa suit tumbler. We purchased the tumblers from Stainless Steel Depot. I believe it's called a 25 ounce football tumbler. Then we sanded and prepped it and painted it with uh, two times Rust-Oleum, I believe it's apple red spray paint. We let the spray paint cure or dry for a couple hours uh, while we were working on other projects, and then we just went and fully coated the tumbler with Mod Podge. I'm just using a cheap foam brush. You can pick them up anywhere. Uh, I think we got these off of Amazon, but I've also gotten them from Home Depot and Dollar Tree even has them. We're going to be adding a chunky glitter, so I wanted to make sure that there was a fairly good coat of Mod Podge on it. I was hoping to only do one layer of glitter, but there was some open spots, so we ended up doing two layers of the chunky glitter for the red. You have to move fairly fast for this just because you don't want the Mod Podge to dry at all. Otherwise, the glitter won't stick to it. Once I get the tumbler fully coated with Mod Podge, I just go over it to try to even it out a little bit. And don't forget to do the bottom of the tumbler also. We want to make sure that everything is fully coated. Once the tumbler is fully coated with Mod Podge, I put a piece of copy paper down uh, just to cover the or excuse me, to catch the extra glitter that we put on it. Um, don't want to waste all the glitter, so we use the copy paper to catch it. For the red, I'm using Fire by Southern Country Glitter. I should have went... Put a little bit heavier coat of Mod Podge on. You can see it's pretty thin. But we're just going to take the glitter and try to fully cover the entire tumbler.
Don't forget to get the bottom of the tumbler also. Um, I have a habit of forgetting that and having to go back in and get it. Once I got the entire tumbler coated with the glitter, I just take the copy paper and kind of fold it and dump it back into the container so we don't waste any of the glitter. Uh, it actually doesn't use as much as it looks like. So the container is almost full still when I dump it back in. The next step, uh, take some parchment paper and just kind of try to flatten down that layer of glitter. Like I said, we are using a chunky glitter mix, so a lot of the bigger chunks of glitter stand up, and it's a lot easier to get them to lay flat, and it's easier to get a smooth layer of epoxy on for that step. Uh, we're also adding a second layer on this one, and if the chunky glitter standing up, it kind of tears up the foam brush, so this next step, I'm going to speed it up a little bit just to uh, make the video a little bit shorter. We're doing the same exact thing as we did I did let it fully dry in between. So just like the first one, fully coat it. This one I actually did put a little bit heavier coat of Mod Podge on and then went back in with the same fire chunky glitter from southern country and then once I'm done glittering everything again I did the same exact thing went back in with the parchment paper uh, after saving the glitter from that coat use the parchment paper smooth everything out again uh, it's good for doing this the glitter doesn't really stick to it like it does other if you use like a plastic wrap the glitter tends to stick to it so once that layer of the glitter and the mod podge is completely dry i went back in with a two-sided tape to do the belt um this is just cheap two-sided tape that we got off of Amazon I think it came in a package with it was like three or four different sizes of tape I used the biggest one which was like three quarters of an inch I let the tape overlap just a little bit not very much uh, then I'll go in and kind of peel it back up and try to even it out a little bit I didn't use any guide or anything. I just, I wanted to go just below the biggest part, kind of like the belt below Santa's belly a little bit. Since I did overlap it, I needed to try to get the one side to pull up struggling here a little bit to get the tape to pull up so the top of the tape excuse me that so the tape actually sticks to the tumbler
So once I got the beginning part stuck down, I overlapped the end of the tape, so it was completely covering the whole thing. I didn't want any gaps. And then I just peeled the whole uh, exterior part of the two-sided tape off. Then I went straight in with the black glitter over the two-sided tape. Um, I forgot to mention that I did uh, seal the glitter with uh, Rust-Oleum two times. Uh, I believe this is a semi-gloss clear. The black glitter that I use in here is Prestigious from Glitz and Glam. And again, I'm just using copy paper to catch the extra glitter that falls off. Save that. Just fully coat the tape area, or the two-sided tape. And then once I got it fully coated, I just go in and kind of press it down a little bit to make sure it's completely stuck to the two-sided tape. Once I get the glitter on the two-sided tape, I also go back in and spray it again with the two times Rust-Oleum Clear. Uh, I bought semi-gloss this time. I usually do matte, but for some reason they had the semi-gloss a dollar a can cheaper than the matte finish. Once I had the belt done and then sealed with the two times clear, I used uh, vinyl. It was just a cheap glitter vinyl that we actually picked up at Dollar Tree. Um, it's like a silver glitter vinyl. And I cut the belt buckle out of that and just put that on... I picked the spot where we uh, overlapped the tape and went over that with the belt buckle just to kind of hide it a little bit. As you can see, I didn't use any transfer tape for putting on the belt buckle. Uh, just for the size of it, and I felt it was easier to just peel it off and put it on. The one thing about the Dollar Tree vinyl, it is not nearly as sticky as like the Oracle that I normally use. You can tell that it's a cheaper vinyl. And also an issue with it is I went in with the heat gun, excuse me, heat gun while I was doing the puffy paint and the next step and you can tell that it kind of melded the belt buckle a little bit and so the final product the belt buckle doesn't look quite as good as it does right here I did do a light coat of the two times Rust-Oleum Clear over the belt buckle too, just to try to seal it into place a little bit better than just the vinyl. Like I said, it's not as sticky as the good vinyl. 
and I apologize. I didn't notice that my phone was not recording a lot of the puffy paint. So we're almost done with it when I realized that it wasn't recording. But it's the same process. I did this along the entire top and then down the middle right at the belt buckle. Uh, just dabbing it on. I wanted it to kind of look like, you know, the fur on Santa's costume. I didn't try to use a brush or anything. I just used the bottle and light pressure on it just to squeeze out just a little bit at a time and kind of put it on randomly. Uh, I didn't want it to look real uniform. I wanted it to kind of puff up in different spots. This puffy paint uh, was just some cheap stuff that we bought off of Amazon, so it's not a name brand or store brand or anything. It's an Amazon special. It came in a set of, I think it was like 24 different colors. Once I had the puffy paint on, I tried using a hack that, uh, at bless her art had on her TikTok. Um, she said that it works to make the puffy paint puff up more and dry. It didn't really work for me. Like I said, I kind of melded the belt buckle trying to get it to work and it still didn't work. So I just let it cure for, it was like, 30 hours by the time I got back to it and just let it dry. Then I went over the whole thing with two layers of epoxy. I let it dry about eight hours in between the last two layers of epoxy. Uh, I didn't do anything special over it. Like I said, the Glitter I had already coated with the Rust-Oleum two times clear, so it didn't move under the epoxy. And for this tumbler, we did do a topper for it. Uh, I did not record that part. I used a coaster mold that was just a little bit smaller than the lid of the tumbler. And I put two magnets in the coaster mold and then put epoxy in it. After that cured, I took some white, or excuse me, clear hot glue and took some little styrofoam uh, balls that were in the Christmas section at Hobby Lobby and some little Christmas ornament or presents that I also found at Hobby Lobby and just uh, hot glued that to the top of the coaster and then took some UV resin and put magnets on the lid of the tumbler so the topper for the tumbler could be removable. It's a good showpiece, but not very practical for using for drinking. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how we made this tumbler, and thank you for watching.